A bad start of the year for Apple and for the broader tech industry. Shares of the iPhone maker plunged more than 7% in after-hours trade, leaving the firm with a third of its market value wiped out in just three months. This after the company cut its quarterly sales forecast for the first time in more than 15 years. Apple's expected revenue for the final three months of 2018 is now $84 billion, 5 to 10 percent lower than its previous estimate announced in November. In a letter to investors, CEO Tim Cook blamed slowing iPhone sales in China for the decline. While we anticipated some challenges in key emerging markets, we did not foresee the magnitude of the economic deceleration, particularly in greater China. Cook said that an economic slowdown, coupled with rising trade tensions with the United States, had a bigger than expected impact on consumer sentiment there. China is the world's biggest smartphone market, but Apple has been facing fierce competition from local rivals that make well-performing and much cheaper handsets. According to one study, Huawei was the top seller in the first three quarters of last year, with Apple trading a distant fifth. The iconic smartphone also saw weaker growth around the world during the crucial holiday season, with fewer people willing to spend $1,000 to update their phones. Apple has been seeking to diversify its business as the global smartphone market gets saturated. Cook insists the company sees a bright future, even in China.